Fumika Shimizu, used to be one of Japan's favorite stars. Her character in Kamen Rider Forze was a major hit among fans, and her role in NHK's Mare helped increase her popularity among the mainstream audience. She eventually reached a status that made directors want to cast her in popular works such as the live-action Hentai Kamen and Tokyo Ghoul. But in 2017, she announced her retirement from acting to join the controversial Happy Science religion, a religion that many refer to as a cult, one that her parents were members of ever since she was little. Shortly after the shocking announcement, she returned to the entertainment industry as Yoshiko Sengen and would only appear in Happy Science-related productions moving forward. She also released a book titled I Will Say Everything That Same Year, which highlighted many of her negative experiences she had in the entertainment industry. While it's hard to say if everything in the book is true, she had nothing to lose, and a lot of the things she does talk about have weight, like her relationship with Kanabun's Yuma Mishida, who himself admitted to the affair in his public apology. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the contents in Shimizu's book, her decision to join Happy Science, and her eventual downfall. Before joining Happy Science, Shimizu was a part of Le Pro Entertainment, an agency she was a part of since 2008. This agency turned out to be one of Shimizu's main sources of grief because of what she had to do. At the age of 15, she went to photo shoots where she had to wear a swimsuit and roll around on a bed. Shortly after, she also had to attend meet and greet events where she would meet fans, many of whom were much older than her, and shake their slimy hands. Emphasis on the word slimy. She said in her book, When I say swimsuit work, I mean jack-off material. I would roll on a bed in a revealing bathing suit and I would ask myself, what am I doing? On my 16th birthday, I put duct tape over my mouth and nose in an attempt to die. Despite how many times she communicated to her agency that she didn't want to do swimsuit photo shoots, she would find that her agency scheduled them anyway. When she got the role of Yuki Jojima in Kamen Rider Forze, she had to appear in a photo shoot that had Kamen Rider heroine as a theme. Pay also seemed to be an issue. There's no clear number as to how much Toei pays an agency to have an actor appear on their TV shows, but the cut the actor receives is almost always low. According to Shimizu, she was paid 50,000 yen a month, or 45,000 yen after taxes, presumably after living expenses. And unfortunately, they're not paid hourly. Keep in mind that the schedule for filming a Kamen Rider show can begin as early as 4 a.m. and last until midnight. This hectic filming schedule is because the television series, the movies, and any other specials are filmed at the same time. This filming schedule is the same for the Super Sentai series as well. Shimizu eventually did see an increase in her salary. A couple of years after Forze, her salary rose to 80,000 yen a month, and eventually 120,000 yen a month when she appeared in NHK's Mare, the drama that helped launch her into popularity with a mainstream audience. She started to rise in fame, and her salary reached 250,000 yen a month by 2016. And eventually, she began to reach a steady 10 million yen annual income when she began to star in popular films like the live-action Tokyo Ghoul. So why was she still unhappy, despite finally making it big in Japan? No matter how much money she makes, she would always hate how controlling her agency was as well as their shady practices, and particularly, the president president of Lepro Entertainment. In her book, she expressed that she wanted to kill the president. When Shimizu got the lead heroine role in Kamen Rider Forze, she had a dispute about the pay system. Her manager told her to change her compensation from commission to salary, but she refused because she heard from other members of the agency that the monthly salary the agency offers is too low. This allegedly became the cause for Lepro Entertainment to sideline her from roles she actually got. Shimizu learned that her agency rejected a role she wanted to play on her behalf. After meeting the producer for that NHK drama, he told me, I wanted you to be in the show, but when I reached out to your agency, they said you turned it down. I was like, what? I didn't hear a single word about any of this. That's when he told me, oh, I see what's going on. This might be what happens if you don't do what they tell you. Shimizu's personal life has also caused her a lot of grief. In her book, she talks about someone who she was in love with and was a source of a lot of her worries. The person in question revealed himself shortly after the book was released. Yuma Mishida, the basis of the band Kanabun, sent a fax to his agency that was published to the public. In the note, he admits that he began dating Fumika Shimizu in June of 2015 and concealed his marriage from her. He eventually revealed his secret to her a few months later in September, and the two continued to date until January of 2016. One year later, in February of 2017, Shimizu announced her sudden retirement from the entertainment industry, which caused a media uproar in Japan as well as with her agency. Le Pro Entertainment scheduled many actress jobs and appearances for Shimizu before her sudden retirement and happy science announcements, which caused a lot of headaches for the agency. 
For example, the movie Goko, which was filmed prior to the Happy Signs announcement, was set to premiere in the fall of 2017. But because the Kamen Rider Forze actress announced she joined the cult, sponsors of the film decided to withdraw from the project, which left the movie in a shelved crisis state, where the movie could not move forward with a theatrical release because there were no sponsors. In December 2017, the star of the film, Junia Chihara, revealed that his pay was being withheld because of the movie's release sitting in limbo. The movie eventually did see a release in July of 2018, about a year later. This would be the last time Fumika Shimizu was credited by her real name. Speaking of real names, it's a complicated topic, but apparently, Le Pro Entertainment has the rights to their models and actors' names, even after they leave the acting world. Because Shimizu applied using her real name, she had no choice but to use a new stage name when she returned to the entertainment world, particularly in Happy Science related productions. That name is Yoshiko Sengen. Shimizu resumed her activities as an actress in Happy Science productions. She admits that she's basically just a poster girl for the organization, but she hopes to use her popularity to spread awareness about the church. One particular movie she starred in titled The Real Exorcist was screened at the 2020 Monaco International Film Festival, where it won the four highest awards and received praise among the attendees. She continued to use social media under her new name, and while most of her posts seemed like everyday stuff, some were questionable like how some of the content she retweeted was in support of Trump, or the conspiracy theory surrounding the Maui fires. It's possible that her organization is choosing what post she makes, but it's also possible that she's the one doing them herself. And just this past year, it seems like her popularity began to dwindle within the organization. Bunshun Online obtained an internal document from Happy Science that listed Yoshiko Sengen as the Media and Cultural Affairs Department and General Manager of New Stars Production Corporation, the Happy Science Production Company. Her starting monthly salary salary at Happy Science was 435,000 yen a month, about 200,000 yen more than other newly ordained members. She had a strong start in the organization because she joined at the peak of her popularity, but her exposure and social media posts began to decline and stagnate, with the exception of her Twitter account, which may or may not be her. In 2020, she started a radio show titled Sengen Yoshiko Takes Off Soundwave and used her fame to promote Happy Science. But in July 2022, her name was removed from the radio program and was retitled to Reaching You, Happy Soundwave, and Shimizu stopped appearing in October of 2022 that same year. As for the movies, she went from being cast as a lead actor or lead heroine in two or three movies a year to only being cast in one movie a year in supporting roles, the most recent one being Let It Be, The Scary Things Are Scary, released this past May. Before the president and founder of Happy Science, Ryuho Okawa, passed away this March, he made a spiritual speech, and in that speech, he hinted at his feelings about Fumika Shimizu. When the actress first joined Happy Science, he thought of her as a daughter, but in his last spiritual speech, he felt nothing but disdain for her, saying things like, she's not my real daughter, and she's pushing her luck. At the time of this video, there's no official announcement as to why Shimizu is slowly disappearing from the entertainment world, or if everyone is just looking too much into it and she's simply just taking a break. 